You might have seen in a previous episode of Driving Television, we picked up this Dodge Dart at the worldwide headquarters of Chrysler in Auburn Hills, Michigan, then headed upstate to this part of the world, Traverse City, which has wine country and, of course, beautiful Lake Michigan. And if you didn't see it, make sure to go to our website, drivingtelevision.com. Well, this is part two. We're leaving. This is Lake Michigan behind me. We're going to drive around the wine country, show you a place that you should visit if you come here, and then head back to downtown Detroit. In our last story here about a road trip through Michigan, it was a lot of uh, freeway driving, miles and miles, and now that we're in wine country, we're surrounded by some beautiful twisty roads along the lake, uh, Lake Michigan, and through uh, the vineyards, and it really gives this car a uh, time to shine. The platform and the suspension and the way it handles is excellent. Those Italian roots really come through based on the Alfa Romeo Giulietta. Throw this car through the corners, and it does an excellent job. I would rate it right up with the very best of other cars in this segment, like the uh, Mazda 3, the Ford Focus. This car could take those on all day long in terms of handling. Our car is equipped with the 1.4 liter turbocharged engine. Getting it up and out of the pocket, you have to know how to drive it. You get used to it after a while, but when it's up on the turbo, boy, this engine really performs well. It's a great match for the suspension, and this is the kind of countryside you need to take this new Dart. The first stop after leaving Traverse City is Sleeping Bear Dunes, a national park right on the edge of Lake Michigan. The one behind me is 200 feet above the lake, and Good Morning America named it the most beautiful spot in the U.S. if you ever want to come and visit. Well, enough of the rural countryside. We're heading to downtown Detroit to get one of the most iconic food features in Michigan, a Coney Island dog. Okay, I gotta tell you something. After driving for like a thousand kilometers, I'm taking a little break. You all know Brian Chow. He's our one of our crew members on driving television. He's gonna do the duty there, driving. And I'm checking out the back seat. Okay, Dart is actually on the inside, the size of a mid-sized car. And you have this sort of theater seating where the back seat is higher, so you can see out all around. You're not gonna get car sick. So this is the rally model that we're driving in. And for that, look, they left us a nice little cheat sheet here, all about the Dart. And it says here, the rally model that we're in starts at 19495 19 and a half thousand dollars. You get the 17-inch alloy wheels. You get the uh, inserts in the seats here in the premium cloth. This one's got the red. It looks real nice. I like the back seat also. We've got the armrest, storage, got the cup holders, and it really is quite comfortable. The base model starts at 15995 That comes with the 2-liter engine. That's the base motor. We're in the rally with the 1.4 uh, multi-air turbocharged engine, and when you're cruising down the freeway like we are here at about 70 miles an hour, it has no problem keeping up in traffic. And then you can get into the 2.4 liter, that's the engine that's in the RT model, and it has 184 horsepower. You can even get with this multi-air turbocharger, a dual clutch, six-speed automatic transmission. That's kind of the stuff you get from the German manufacturers. So we might even get an SRT Dart. Maybe they'll call it Swinger. All right, Brian, good job. Well, here we are in downtown Detroit. We're gonna get a famous Coney Island hot dog. There's two of them here. American Coney Island, Lafayette Coney Island. We hear Lafayette's better. I'll grab one, and then we'll wrap up our two-day road trip with the Dart. I tell you what, there's a lot going on with a Coney Island dog. You've got bun, you've got the hot dog, you've got chili, onions, and mustard, but it all comes together to work. Same thing with the Dodge Dart. There's a lot going on here. You've got the Italian heritage, and you take it, and it's turned into a Dodge Dart for American taste. It really works. After two days and over a thousand kilometers, we really came to appreciate the smooth and refined ride, especially dancing through the corners. The turbocharged engine and the manual transmission are so smooth and effortless, you really come to appreciate where the power is with this car. Just like the Chili Dog, it's got a lot going on, but it all comes together, and it makes you want to have another. <laughs> 